This is a video that explains the procedure to perform the LCR circuit in physics lab. An LCR circuit contains an inductance of value L, a capacitance of value C and a resistance of value R which are connected in series with an AC source. We can measure the voltage across the resistance by connecting these two points in the circuit to a CRO. By connecting a signal generator across these two points, you can apply a variable AC voltage. Variable AC voltage means an AC voltage whose amplitude and frequency can be varied. The purpose of the experiment is to study the phenomenon of resonance in such series LCR circuits. Resonance is a phenomenon in which when we vary the frequency of the input AC, the amplitude of the output AC also changes. If we graphically plot the input frequency F along the x-axis and the voltage across the resistance Vr along the y-axis, you will get a graph that looks like this. The graph means that for low values of the input frequency F, the voltage will be low. When we increase the input frequency, the voltage will increase along the curve and it will reach a maximum of Vmax at a particular value of F, which we call Fr, which is the resonant frequency. If we increase the value of F further in, from Fr, the output voltage will again decrease. So this is the shape of the graph that we get. In the graph, if the maximum value is Vmax, then we can find Vmax by root 2. We can find that particular point on the graph and find the x coordinates of these points, this one and this one. Those x coordinates are called F1 and F2 on this particular figure. F1 and F2 in theory are called half power points of the circuit. So, between F1 and F2, the voltage across the resistor will be at least equal to Vmax by root 2 or greater than that. The difference between F1 and F2, which is equal to F2 minus F1, is called the bandwidth of the circuit. The x-coordinate of the point where the maximum of the graph occurs is called the resonant frequency Fr. And from the theory of LCR circuits, the quality factor of the circuit Q is equal to Fr divided by delta F. The purpose of this particular experiment is to set up this particular circuit, vary the input volt input frequency in the signal generator, measure the output voltage across the resistor using a CRO and plot a graph between the input frequency and the output voltage. That graph is called the frequency response curve of the circuit. From the frequency response curve, we are supposed to find out the values of FR, F1 and F2. Using those values, we are supposed to find out the quality factor which is equal to Fr divided by delta F. Complete experimental setup for this particular experiment. In this experiment, the main components that are used are an inductance, which is, this is an inductance box, a capacitance, this one, of 10 nanofarad capacitance and a fixed carbon resistor of 100 ohm value. The connections are made on a breadboard and the input signal is taken from a signal generator and the output signal which is the voltage across the resistor is measured using this CRO. In order to analyze the circuit we begin from the probes of the signal generator. So this is the first probe of the signal generator. To that probe we connect one of the terminals of the inductance box. The second terminal is connected directly with one terminal of the capacitor and the other terminal of the capacitor coincides with one leg of the resistor. The second leg of the resistor is connected directly to the second probe of the signal generator. In order to measure the voltage across the resistor, we connect the probes of the CRO which are this one and this one across those two points. Right now, the signal generator is outputting a signal of 10 kilohertz frequency and this is the signal that is obtained on the CRO. If we increase the value of the input signal to 11 kilohertz, it can be seen from the CRO screen that the amplitude increases slightly. So from now on I will fix the camera on the CRO screen and 
show you what happens when the input frequency is increased in equal steps. So this is the signal for 11 kilohertz. This is the signal for 12 kilohertz. This is for 13 kilohertz, 14 kilohertz, 15 kilohertz, 16 kilohertz, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. If you pay attention to the video, you will have seen that when we increase the signal frequency gradually in equal steps from 10 kilohertz to 22 kilohertz, we have seen the amplitude of the output signal to be increasing from 10 to 16 kilohertz and then decreasing from 16 kilohertz onwards. So this is the phenomenon of resonance that we talked about earlier. When the input frequency is increased from very low values, the output voltage increases, then reaches a maximum, then further decreases. So if we were to take the actual numerical values from the oscillator and the numerical value of the amplitudes are measured from the CRO, you would have obtained a graph like this. From the graph, you can find directly the point at which the maximum occurs and take that as FR. You can also measure the half power points F1 and F2 directly from the graph by drawing a horizontal line at the value of Vmax by root 2 and finding out the x coordinates of the points where that horizontal line meets the graph. So these are F1 and F2. From F1 and F2, you can find out delta F which is equal to F2 minus F1 and Q factor will then be equal to FR by delta F.